did they change the carbon seal on the RXTX? Okay, that's a good question. That's a really good question because uh, what I know regarding the carbon seal is that they had problems with, okay, how do I make this short? My understanding was that when CDU took everything to Mexico, their supplier for the carbon seals uh, supplied them product for a couple more years, fulfilled their contract, and then they had to move and find a new supplier local to Mexico. And they really struggled with the suppliers in Mexico. And they worked very closely with them and they were trying to get the formula right, but it just wasn't working out. And they were having a lot of failures. My understanding is that early 2000 models had a new, had a new compound, had a new recipe, had a new mixture for the carbon seal. And that, uh, that new carbon seal was on everything. Now, the RXPX and the GTX Limited and the Fish Pro, both skis with IDF and the RXPX all got a new revised drive shaft, prop shaft. I say drive shaft, sorry, prop shaft. That revised prop shaft had a different uh, retaining clip because a couple of the times the retaining clips were popping out or breaking. So, and that new retaining clip and that new carbon seal also had a different hat, you know, the billet hat, the little trumpet that comes up. So, I just dropped a pen. Um, my thinking is that the prop shaft has a new retaining clip, has a new hat, you know, the billet hat, and a different seal, a carbon seal. Those three things, well, yeah, all, actually all four things, shaft, clip, hat and seal have been revised. They're not big look at me things. They're not they're not going to advertise it. All right. Um so they're not really going to toot their own horn about that, but there have been modifications. Um my understanding is that the revised clip and shaft and hat gets out on the 21s. But again, no on the 22s. Excuse me. The 21s, the only the only skis with the new shaft on 21 is the two skis with IDF and the RXPX. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to playlists, and then click on live sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise... Go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.